That thing was poking me. This gotta go in my arm. Oh, crap. I should not have looked at that. This Clean looks scary. area with the alcohol wipes. I should show the needle. Is that a needle? Oh. Can we just do it to each other? <laughs> oh, I'm not sponsored by this. I paid for it myself. Very expensive. I'm gonna give an honest review. <laughs> Ooh. No peeking? It was $400 for each of us. You can say that. I mean, it's not cheap. Mm -hmm. Is it worth it? Well. We will find out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've always wanted to test my glucose and see how foods affect my glucose. Mm. I know I'm insulin resistant. Three, two, one. Ta-da! Ah. <laughs> We're like, okay. <laughs> Wait 60 minutes before your si first scan. The During the first 12 to 24 hours, your sensor may show extra variability. Scan every eight hours to capture all your data. Okay, wait, how did, where did you hear this from? Instagram? This was a TikTok. They, like, like she said, they They're forced it on, on my social really? media. I IG, okay, Facebook, yeah. TikTok. They're like, even Google, Google search. So every 14 days, you have to stick it to your arm. Every 14 days? <laughs> Does it hurt? I think it's hurt. They oh <laughs> Here they have this thing. Is that to cover it? Yeah. Disposal. So it comes with that and this. Doesn't look too dangerous. How do I? Okay. This Clean looks scary. Area with the alcohol wipes. I should show the needle. It's tiny, but that has to go in your in your arm. That's not a tiny. Oh, then I gotta go into here. I don't know, hold the left. One step ahead of my friends. <laughs> okay. This gotta go in my arm. Oh, oh, crap! I should not have looked at that. That is a needle. Which way is you pull Firmly the push the applicator sensor. Don't be nervous. Insertion might be like a pinch or nothing yeah, at don't all. Don't be nervous. You're all set. Don't oh. be nervous. Crap. What? <laughs> Oh, it didn't hurt. It didn't. <laughs> Adrenaline. <laughs> oh, it kind of like. Okay. I didn't feel anything. You didn't. I'm, I mean, I'm feeling it now, it. but not no. You want me to do it, Nook? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. I got the last one. <laughs> Don't look. We okay. good. Um. <laughs> you guys make it too big of a deal. It's well, not that bad. You started it with a big needle. <laughs> 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 I have to stay in you for four weeks. Boom! No, two weeks. That has to be there for two weeks. What oh, happens if someone hits you in the arm? Just don't get hit in the arm. Oh, you have to make sure to scan your sensor at least once every eight hours. Yeah. Aww. Then how do you get it off? Can you like exercise with it? Try push up with a needle. It feels a little weird. According to According to some research, <laughs> about 40% of young adult Americans are insulin resistant. And now we would just wait until we have to scan it after an hour. Okay. Um, it's been how long? It's been like an hour and a half. An hour? When I first felt it, like I was just typing on my keyboard and I felt like something was in my arm. And then now I don't feel too much. Like I feel it all the way yeah, I, up to I, here like, yeah. and, and it's in my hand a little bit that i don't feel i just feel, oh, I feel it's like getting it's better pink, i feel like it's in my pinky finger no, it yeah it'll go away i think i know they said one in four people are pre-diabetic or disposed to one diabetes in one in four i'm gonna take this off i really can't stand it anymore so like, does that hurt when you do that? No. Oh, uh, I soaked it in water in the shower. So mm. that kind of helped, I'm hoping. Yeah. So that's this one. I don't even know if it's meant to go. <laughs> I just bought it off of Amazon. I was like, well, and it's worked. I kept it on another week. I mean, I just kind of have like a little mark, but there's no irritation. All right, here we go. Because I'm curious. I saw the needle go in, but I don't exactly know what's inside the skin. Mm. So I've, I've been going for two weeks wondering, like, what the heck is inside there? Like, is it a, what kind of filament, what kind of wire? Will I see anything? Like, is there pus? 
He was been sitting in there for like two weeks. So I'm thinking like macrophages, white blood cells. Anyway, that's where my head goes. They say to just peel it off in one fell swoop. Okay, I did it. <gasps> what? That is not what I thought it was going to be. So it is a needle then. It is a needle of sorts. Can you see that? I don't know yeah. If you can focus on that. Mm -hmm. There's like a little bit of blood around it, dried blood. So yeah. Uh, it's kind of soft though. Poor, I sympathize so much with diabetics. Like how I have a newfound respect. But anyway, that. It is like a little wire. It's like a little. I mean, a piercing is worse. Like you can kind of see when I pull. Yeah, it's like, you know, if you had like something stuck in there. To have to replace this and do this <laughs> again? Two weeks. I mean, it took three days for the discomfort to go away. Yeah, three days. But I've been able to sleep on it, I've been able to bump it. Take showers with it. Take yeah, I don't even feel it. I don't notice it. Once I changed it to this bandage, once I put this little whatever this is, I don't even know what's the right thing. I mean, you can feel mine. But it's it's held. You don't feel any irritation. You have the plastic piece in there. Yeah. You have the little plastic wrapper. I kept it. You on. did much better than I did. I'm like so. Ugh. I'm just so glad to have that out. <laughs> I'm just so glad to be done with it. Oh my God. You already got the needle out. Ugh. That's not bruised. So I'm gonna take this off now. It's been 14 days. Okay, let's see. Hmm. It's kind of sticky. Okay. Okay, don't panic. <laughs> I'm already panicking. It's hard because it pull on the hair. What? Why are you closing your eyes? Because I don't want to see it. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Oh, I, I just... Is that a needle? Oh. No. No, it's a wire. Oh, it's hard though. It's hard though. <laughs> Am I bleeding? No, you're not bleeding. <laughs> Are you gonna dispose of it? They said you just wrap in there like a like a tissue of paper towel and then throw it away. Ah, uh, okay. I'm not bleeding. No, you're not bleeding. You're not bleeding. <laughs> This is just my mouse pad. <laughs> my very large mouse pad. <laughs> we are back after two weeks. The glucose testing. Your thoughts? Uh, I did it again. Popped herself a new one here. Okay, your nerve is going to be right here. So it goes all the way up? Yeah. So you don't just don't go here. Just right here. I would think right here is... I mean, there's a nerve here too, though. Right there. My look. Nook and I kind of... I'm uh, done. No, we're done. <laughs> I pretty much think I figured everything out that I needed to figure out. And how about you? Yeah, same here. It's like the stuff that you already know, kind of. I feel like it helped me the first three days. Mm -hmm. And then after that, it I kind of figured it out. Yeah, yeah. My glucose scores never even got close to 140. The highest was a hundred and it was in like the one twenties. Oh, because I don't eat carbs though. I personally don't eat them, so I guess it was kind of uneventful for myself because I just don't eat them. So it's kind of like okay. The only time I ever would spike though was was like coffee. Yes, me too. Coffee. <laughs> like what I've been doing recently is eating a couple of almonds before I have my coffee. Don't know. That, that fixes it? That doesn't raise it too much. It just goes like... Some fiber. Not like... Mm. I don't know whether coffee has an effect on the metabolism. It just causes you to release more sugar. But it just... Every time. 
it must I don't know whether it was the caffeine or what but but you said it didn't happen to you when you drank caffeine so I was noticing a spike when I was intermittent fasting and then drinking coffee Mm. My the nutritionist on there said that like a sixteen hour fast is no good for people my age. So yeah, she uh, was kind of saying like it wasn't that good for her. I didn't. I did notice also though a spike if I went like a long period of time. You did too, right? You noticed? Yes. Yeah, I tried exactly the same meal like steak, rice, and salad. Before that, that I wasn't starving. It was fine. But now I was starving, and then I had that same meal it spike up. She yeah. was like, start with protein first, yes. and then whatever you want to do, do later. The first day was a little wonky because it was calibrating. So usually at night, it would go way down into that other yellow. Mm -hmm. But mine never went, I never saw that other green. <laughs> it would rise during the day and then right, fall. But like, like, you have to keep eating protein every single meal like you can't in order to not spike your glucose and yeah. if like for example if you're eating chicken with mashed potatoes and like asparagus you have to eat the chicken first and then the mashed potatoes you can't eat it all together that's what i tried like she was dipping her steak like in the mashed potatoes and eating it and it that it, doesn't work that doesn't work okay it, also stress has a big thing oh that was what you were funny she was taking a test i was taking a big exam okay and it did shoot up like 20 points and she's like, oh, thank you for noting that. Because <laughs> it just, I didn't eat anything like an hour before, and then it just spiked all of a sudden. So did you notice when you were exercising that it would go down or up? Mine is like kind of fluctuated, like when I do exercise. Because someday I do cardio, someday I just like resistant-based exercises. And it seemed like cardio is like, it spiked a little bit more. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. When I run and I do heavy intensity and my yeah. adrenaline's going, actually my glucose goes up. Mm. But if I'm doing like weights, yeah. band work, walking, right. it goes down. But that explains like why I'm hungry after I, hung uh, I work out because my glucose dips and then so it spikes So yours again. dips after At least workout. I think so. I mean, I, I feel that adrenaline. If I get my heart rate like over 120 for like 10 minutes. Okay. And I'm yeah. feeling that shakiness. Yeah. So you know that like. Uh, That's what it's like. Spike. It goes up. Yeah. But for like people that like Thai food, try to avoid curry. Cut that spike. Yes. I had one meal with curry. <laughs> That's Spike a lot. I, I didn't go that high, but it was for me. It was high. It was like yes. I think that was my highest one was curry. Yes, curry. I thought banana no good because if you eat the banana first and then you eat the protein, then it won't work. Yeah. But like, if you, I guess no smoothies, huh? No. Unless it's completely protein. But guess what? <laughs> when they have a sun-dried banana, it worked very well. Fresh banana, mm -hmm. it won't work. I ate an orange during snack. Like when I had a break on Monday, I ate an orange and that didn't do anything. But that was after when I ate protein. Well, I would say like what I got from this equipment is just the meal sequencing. I told you that I had like the waffle and sausage and eggs, but I eat protein first, like mm -hmm. Linnea said, and that was doing pretty good job. Like I got 10 score out of that. It's not wow. spike doing a great job so it was enough protein yeah so how much protein do you think that was i don't know it was two eggs and then two sausage mm -hmm. and i had like the whole waffle <laughs> with maple syrup so the, i guess the lesson is you can eat more carbs than you think and mm -hmm. not drastically spike your glucose yeah it's like a little trick that you can do to avoid Tricky that one. yeah because i love carb i love rice so now I can just flip flop <laughs> a little bit, but it's still challenging because usually I eat rice with protein. Right. Now they said to eat protein and vegetable first. I was like, that doesn't go together. Like, I don't know if I like to do that. To yeah. With the mashed potatoes, not eat it. That's, that's, it doesn't work that way. See, she gets me. <laughs> well, it's kind of like when we tell our kids, like, okay, you have to have good food first, and then you can have your sweets. Uh, try to <laughs> no stay stress free and uh protein before carbs there was a couple mine. things that surprised me like i had to change my yogurt my brand of yogurt that i like oh it was too much even though it had the same amount of carbs um different response mm. did you notice that brown rice did better than you know what i don't purple think rice or any like 
different rice do anything, but only the fact that I would say is refrigerated with, you know, uh, like the cold part. rice versus warm the rice. The cold rice is doing better than the fresh cooked rice. Yeah, even you heat it up, it's fine. It so just you can have reheat to be like, the rice. Yeah, it just have to be in the fridge the overnight or whatever. And that doing better for my glucose level. I feel like it does not matter. It's purple, it's brown, it's white rice. It just refrigerate or not refrigerate. If you guys want to see more experiments, you can check out the company. They they on TikTok on TikTok their Instagram. They go through all kinds of experiments, and so we knew already kind of what to do and what to try, and they were right. Mm -hmm. They were right pretty much. It was just interesting to see. Mm -hmm. It for yourself and to be able to get a glucose a continual glucose monitor and not have diabetes is interesting um, information to have and it's invaluable because we don't really ha- you wouldn't normally have a reason to go and do that for yourself unless you were having symptoms of diabetes so to get a prescription for it is not likely but this company is willing to do that for you yeah right. regardless of whether you have diabetes or not just so that you can have that kind of information for yourself mm-hmm. so you can see for yourself what foods do spike your glucose and which don't i was still surprised that some of them did spike it as much as they did and i was surprised at how much i could get away with <laughs> maybe we were just all too scared to eat carbs because we had this glucose monitor on us maybe i was more i was more aware of what i was eating <laughs> i'm like I what know this. I know this is gonna spike my glucose. Do I really want my nutritionist to see this? Yes, I was kind of like <laughs> I kind of wanted to be left alone, like for like a day. Like, don't look at it. Like, what I was doing was, oh, I would try a glass of wine. That was what was interesting to me. It did not spike my glucose. What wine? Wine. Like that's red like wine. I had wine? a dry a dry wine. Put that up. I don't. You're, you're kind of like she can't drink that. But anyway, can't relate. Because the, the whole goal is, is you don't want it to really go over 140. You want it to come back down within two hours to what it was before you ate. Mm-hmm. Those are based, and you don't want a change or a delta, you know, a change in um, variance of over more than 20 to 30 points. Glucose, it's been thought higher levels of over 140 lead to inflammation in the body. Mm. It just causes an inflammatory response to your body. And so that's gonna increase all kinds of symptoms. Don't want it to be spiking and spiking and spiking. I mean, do you think it was worth it? I I feel like for the price, if like 50% off, I'd probably do it again. (laughs) (laughs) To be honest. But it's just because like, like I know that I just need a confirmative, like confirm that, okay, that Mm -hmm. is right. And that's confirm it. Right. So right, you research it ahead of time. The NutriSense company is pretty spot on. They they're very honest and forthcoming with their information that they give. Yeah. Um, and if you research well ahead of time and have a plan of what you're going to do, you don't have to keep like doing, doing every it month. all the time. Yeah. You know, I just didn't have a plan going into it. N- no, maybe but, that's yeah. Well, I, I didn't really want you to. I didn't really want like you at the beginning. You were like, this is toxic. This yes. is horrible. Oh, yeah. I don't want to write everything. Now you're like, let me do it some more. You're like, you pumped another one in. <laughs> yeah, I did. But I didn't really change what I was See, eating. I don't believe yeah. in... I just changed the pattern. Well, I don't believe in calorie counting and counting calories. I hate that. <laughs> I just... I mean, maybe it would help me, but Probably. I never do. I know that's going to spike my glucose, mm-hmm. and I know that that isn't. And the fact that you can purchase this and do this for yourself and learn from it yeah mm-hmm. is invaluable because you don't you don't know until you have it tested so like if you're prone to let's say yeast infections or like fungus on your skin yeah you can find out like maybe there's things in your diet that you're doing that are spite that is raising your glucose mm-hmm. i had re- it's different when you research something and then then you actually go and try it for yourself yeah and you see it you're like oh this is true